Well, hardly a cloud to be concerned about there as we peer off to the north and west. It is once again hazy. As you can see, the blue of the sky is almost milky white out there. A look at our current conditions shows temperatures across the valley. Well, we're in those upper 70s once again, and it is very dry. Dew points down to the 50s means it's a comfortable 79 with a easterly component wind. It's not too bad. It's generally under 10 miles per hour. Detroit Lakes, you have 77. That's the same reading we have in both Langdon and in Valley City this hour. Oaks has 75, and we also have 75 in Fergus Falls. Beautiful across the entire region. Roseau, your temperature 70, and not far from you, a few clouds that are spitting some raindrops. They're moving just to the south of you right now. None of this showing any lightning or anything of that nature. So, a possible sprinkle. Maybe not even all of that's reaching the ground. Where it is reaching the ground is where there are stronger storms. Tornado watch and tornado warnings active right now in the southeastern quadrant of Nebraska, heading into northwest Missouri and portions of western Iowa, as well as the high country of Colorado, seeing strong storms for us. Our model is painting some hit and miss thunder showers tonight that just haven't transpired. The air is very dry over us with in the 50s, the dew points that is, we probably won't see too much in the way of thunder showers. So, isolated thunder showers possible mainly in northwest Minnesota. Temperatures falling into the 60s after sunset with winds under 10 miles per hour for most of us most of the evening. Overnight clear, quiet and comfortable. Crack the window open. It'll be delightful for a night of sleep and refreshing first thing in the morning. Temperatures in the low 60s after dipping down to lows in the mid to upper 50s. 64 on your way to work in Bemidji. 63 on your way to work in Fergus Falls. By your lunch hour, winds will have shifted a little bit. Becoming southerly with temperatures at midday approaching 75 to 80 degrees already. And in the afternoon, we'll peak up into those low 80s so we won't warm up too much more. South winds around 15 miles per hour. Look at the sunshine around and our model not painting anything in the way of thunder shower activity in western Minnesota or in eastern North Dakota. Quiet into the evening, quiet, but we'll have a few clouds and thunder showers skirting the international border late on your Friday night. Here's your hour by hour planner. Take a look at Fargo tomorrow. We'll rise from the mid 50s before sunrise all the way to the 70s for the lunch hour. 80s for the afternoon, perfect for a barbecue, a walk in the park, or hey, how about some lake fun? 82 Fargo on your way home, 78 Oaks and Valley City, 80 for Lisbon. In Detroit Lakes tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock, I anticipate temperatures around 77. With winds under 10 miles per hour, those lakes, they won't be glass, but they'll be very nice. In the Northland, we're expecting temperatures in that upper 70 to low 80 degree range with winds that'll be light. A few popcorn or fair weather cumulus clouds about your area. 81 in Cavalier, 79 Carrington and Maddox, 79 degrees for your close of the work week on Friday afternoon. Hazy skies will continue as the fires continue to burn in Canada. Temperatures will stay in the low 80s as we close out our work week. And it does look like we'll have temperatures that'll be delightful for the weekend, but a Sunday chance of thunder and lightning will grace the region with some raindrops. Now, it does look like our next chance after Sunday will come next week on Wednesday. We'll keep our eyes on the skies, but it doesn't look overly okay. nasty. Good. It's nice yes. to have a good weekend. It is. Right, thanks. So. Today, excuse me, we have a Speedway spot. Uh, excuse me, yes. <laughs> speak easy. A speak easy so. spotlight couple, okay. and it's Jim and Jan Kaiser of North River, North Dakota, celebrating 49 years of wedded bliss and look at that picture. Great. Congratulations, yeah. you two. Well up next